Welcome to Toro NSN's Training in 10, the innovative self-paced training module that allows you to get trained and to get going. Today's topic is how to irrigate using evapotranspiration in Cypro. While this module is focused on Cypro versions 2.0 and above, the principles you'll see today apply to most previous versions of the software. This training module will cover topics including an explanation of what evapotranspiration is, Demand ET and how Cypro uses it, an example of some Demand ET sources and where to get them, setting up Demand ET in the Cypro software, how Cypro applies ET information to a program, and other training intent topics designed to help you become a better manager of your Toro Cypro system. Before we define ET, let's first review a couple of pivotal concepts beginning with evaporation. Evaporation is the process of water transferring from any moist surface to the air or to the atmosphere. Primarily, it involves water moving from the moist soil and plants into the air. The next concept is transpiration, which is a bit different. Transpiration refers to the water vapor that escapes into the atmosphere from the plant itself through each of the individual pores or stoma that are scattered over the surface of each leaf. The primary difference between evaporation and transpiration is that transpiration is much more responsive to environmental conditions. The degree which each individual stoma opens or closes is in direct response to three main factors, solar radiation, wind condition, and the combination of air temperature with relative humidity. When you combine these two conceptual measurements, you get evapotranspiration, which we more commonly refer to as ET. Simply put, evapotranspiration is the measurement of water loss in the soil reservoir due to the combination of evaporation from the soil and transpiration through the tissue of the plant. In our case, that plant is turf grass. Demand ET is a factor that refers to the amount of total loss that you would like to replace into the soil reservoir through the use of your irrigation system. The factor of demand ET is more commonly referred to in our industry as a percentage of ET. If it's determined that the ET rate for the day is two tenths of an inch, many will irrigate to a percentage of that loss, let's say 70 percent, or 14 one hundredths of an inch. That percentage is identified in Cypro as demand ET. Cypro can use a number of different sources to generate or estimate that demand ET. Your Cypro software has the ability to use a historical figure to estimate ET, or you can simply input a number which Cypro calls manual ET. This number can be generated from a number of different sources, including yours or a neighboring weather station. If you have DTN, you can use the ET value that it provides. Many times your local co-op extension or regional collegiate turf grass program will provide daily ET rates for turf grass on the web, or, like many, you can simply rely on your experience and generate a daily ET rate that you can then manually input. Cypro can also estimate demand ET based on the high and low temperature for that day. Program manual ET allows you to irrigate using different values for different programs. Or you can tie a weather station directly to a program and have the software automatically generate run times. There are many different ways that you can use ET to generate run times, and it's important to note that these sources can be combined. For example, you can set manual ET at two tenths of an inch and apply it to your fairways and tees, set program manual at 15 one hundredths and apply it to your roughs and approaches, use a default run time of 10 minutes for greens and surrounds, and then tie your weather station to the driving range and clubhouse. As you can see, your Toro Cypro software allows many options in deciding how you're going to generate run times for individual programs. Let's now look how we can use ET to generate a run time for a program. As I just mentioned, you can combine many different factors which we just listed. For the purpose of this exercise, however, we will use just one, Manual ET. To set up Manual ET, you first go to the Setup menu and choose to Demand ET from the Environmental Choice. Here you can see the Demand ET screen. If you click on the Select Sources tab, you can see on the left all of the available sources that we just spoke about. I'm going to choose Manual ET and then click on the arrow pointing to the right which moves this choice 
as an available choice to a selected choice. Going back to the Summary tab, we can see a number of different things which are identified. First is today's date in both a yearly Julian format as well as a calendar format. Next is the Max Demand ET, which is the rate that defaults at one inch but is user-defined and is the maximum amount of ET that can be set. Here we see the source that we have chosen, Manual ET, the last time it's been updated, and the rate, which is also totalized for the week, and the last seven days applied. To update Manual ET, we simply click on the source, and when we do, the update icon appears. Click on Update, and in here we can type the value that we would like to set for Manual ET today. As you click OK, you can see that the source has been updated. Click OK again, and you can see that the Demand ET micro window also gets updated. To apply this value to a program, we need to open the program screen from up here at this icon. Here you can see that the Tease program is currently using a 12 minute default runtime. To change this to ET, we need to go to the ET Use tab, where we change this from a default runtime to ET Auto Calculate. When you click on this choice, you will get a warning asking you if you are sure. Click OK, and notice that the default runtime is now inactive. The Tease program will now use three items to determine the runtime. The first item is the source, Manual ET, and this program will use it to generate a runtime. If you recall, this is the same source that we just updated. Item number two is the program Max ET, which defaults to a quarter of an inch. This value, which can be changed, is the maximum amount of ET that this program will apply, regardless of the source. Lastly, item 3 is the mode. The mode in Cypro only looks at your active day schedule when it determines how the ET value will be applied. In the daily mode, only the current or the value for today will be applied. In the checkbook mode, the sum of ET values will be applied based on the last active day. For example, let us assume that today is the 19th of the month and the schedule for the T's program was set for every other day. If the ET value set for today was 14 one hundredths of an inch and the value for the 18th was a tenth of an inch, the daily mode would still only apply the 14 one hundredths of an inch or today's value. In the checkbook mode, however, on the 19th, Cypro would attempt to make up for the inactive day on the 18th and apply the tenth of an inch that was missed. Cypro will add this lost tenth to the value of today, which is 14 one hundredths, meaning that it would apply 24 one hundredths of an inch today to make up for the 18th, which we did not irrigate. It's important to remember that the mode only looks at the active day schedule here to determine how it will apply ET. If every day is active, as it is in our example, the mode becomes moot. By utilizing ET to generate runtimes in Cypro, you are applying an even blanket of water across the entire program, which is represented here in the runtime review screen for the T's program we just changed. Cypro formulates runtime for each individual station in the program by calculating the station's application rate into the demand ET that you would like to apply for that cycle. For more detailed information about how this calculation is made, please refer to the Training in 10 module entitled How Runtimes Are Created in Cypro Using ET. You have just spent another 10 minutes completing another informative episode of NSN's Training in 10. Today's topic? how to irrigate using evapotranspiration in Cypro. We hope that this lesson helped you better understand this important tool and that it helps further enhance your career working with the number one irrigation central control product available, Toro Cypro. Be sure to keep looking for future installments of NSN's Training in 10, the self-paced training module that allows you to get trained and to get going. If you have any questions about this or about future training topics, or if you would like to participate in one of our acclaimed Toro Cypro Regional Training Classes, please contact us by calling toll-free 
8676, option 2. Once again, that's 888-676-8676, option 2. Toro and Toro's National Support Network. Count on it.